My name is Dr. Ankur Fatarpekar. I am an interventional cardiologist and a structural interventionist. Today, I am going to speak about mitral clip. Mitral clip is a procedure where you clip the valve of the heart so as to decrease the leakage or regurgitation from one chamber to the other chamber of the heart. This procedure is done under general anesthesia and this procedure is relatively safe and reasonably successful. So to tell you in brief, heart has four valves out of which the valve which is between the left upper chamber and the lower chamber of the heart is called as the mitral valve. This valve allows the blood to flow only in one direction that is from the upper chamber to the lower chamber and out. It prevents any leakage of the blood from the lower chamber back to the upper chamber of the heart. So when a patient has heart wall disease, what happens is there is leakage which happens and because of this all the blood from the lower chamber goes back to your upper chamber to it to the lungs and the patient starts feeling breathless, becomes uneasy, has sweating and many a times patient might get critical and go into the ICU on the ventilator. If the patient is young, the patient might uh, undergo a surgery but in older individuals who are at high risk to have any surgery, there was nothing till now. So now this is a path breaking therapy wherein without opening the heart through the leg veins, you can go up across the wall and clip it, re reducing any leakage back from the lower chamber to the upper chamber of the heart. So what are the pre-operative requirements for mitral clip? Any patient who has severe mitral regurgitation, especially when the heart is dilated and is a very high risk candidate for surgery, is a candidate for a mitral clip. The, if the patient is admitted in the ICU most of the times in such patients. Patient is taken to the cath lab with basic uh, blood investigations done and a 2D echo done. The entire procedure is done with a transesophageal echo. That means an echocardiograph probe is put through your food pipe down so as to see the heart from behind. And the entire procedure is done under a cath lab under a C arm. All the procedure is guided with the ECO and ECO makes the entire procedure very very safe and the chances of success are also very high because of that. Post operatively the patient is brought into the ICU, observed for 24 hours for any uh, complications of the procedure and then if the patient is all alright, within a day or two the patient goes to the ward and is discharged. So this procedure takes around one day prior to one to two days after the surgery. The complications of the procedure, if at all any, can be manageable and all the precautions are taken so as to prevent these complications and even if they happen, we, are, we already anticipate these complications and keep everything standby as a safety measure.